wedges are one of the important topic we covered in the friction wedges are basically triangular shape pieces we can see here that these sort of shape are basically known as wedge and the apt application of wedge when we talk about the friction can be defined as the separation of two different bodies or to hold bodies or to lift body for example these are the two body 1 and 2 and if i will insert a wedge by applying a force p these two body will now in are separate away secondly if i want to hold the body in this inclined position i can insert a wedge and to keep the wedge in this position there may be I, there may be two condition one condition is that i have to continuously apply a force p or if the friction are such that the wedge can be wedge can remain in this position so no need to add additional force only we have to insert the wedge and wedge will keep wedge will be in this position and it will hold the body or to support the body on the third case if i want to lift this body i will insert a wedge and the body will lift now what is our interest here our interest here here is to understand that how the wedge work or what are the different forces in the wedge when the wedge are in operating condition for example here if the wedge are inserted wedge is inserted between these two surfaces definitely the wedge will the body will try to push the wedge away and the force p will keep the wedge in this position on the other end if the p is that much high the wedge will further go inside and it will further lift the body in both the cases there will be friction force so that means when the wedge will be in the operating condition friction governs an, a very special role to operate the wedges so now let's start that if the wedge is inserted or wedge is in operating condition in terms of holding a body or try to lift a body how we derive our mathematical model so here i am explaining with simple example suppose there is a body of mass m and there is a wedge inserted below the body and there is an we are applying a force p on this surface of the wedge so that the wedge remain in this position so now this system is in equilibrium and there will be certain forces between uh, the wall and the larger piece between the ground and the wedge as well as in between the wedge and the larger body alpha define the angle of this slant surface now we have to understand that when we talk about the friction friction basically introduce two extreme limit of your equilibrium for example suppose there is a body resting on the inclined surface and if the friction is not that much sufficient body will try to slide in the downward direction suppose i am applying a force p here so now what would happen one condition is that the p is so large that the body will start moving in the upward direction this is this may be the case one on the other hand if the p is up to a limiting condition so that it is just holding this body at this position so now what do you think these two forces will be the same which two forces one force to hold the body another force to lift the body and let me tell you these two forces will not be same one between these two forces the body will remain at this position for example let's by applying a 20 newton force the body remains in this position but if the force will go to 21 it is not possible it is not always essential that the body will start to move in the upward direction because because of the friction what will happen when we are holding the body basically the friction is acting in this direction but when we try to lift the body the friction will the direction of the friction will change and it will act in this direction that means may be possible that when we apply the force up to 27 newton after that the body will start moving in the upward direction in between the 20 to 27 nothing will happen and the body will remain in this equilibrium condition so here also when we are inserting a wedge below a body and we are talking about this instantaneous condition where we are applying a force p and the system is in equilibrium we have to understand that at, in, at what condition we are talking whether the condition is at the holding state or whether the condition is just to lift the body m and these two are the two different state 
and in these two different state the direction of friction will be different so let's start with the first second case suppose i want to lift the body that means the p is at very uh, p is about to lift the body if the p will increase by a uh, infinite seemal amount the body will lift so what would be the value that means we are talking about the maximum value of our in this example as i shown that the 27 which is a virtual value i am talking about this extreme condition where if the value will increase beyond a small amount the body will lift so now let's understand that how we will define the direction of friction between these all surface because the friction may be in the this direction or in the opposite direction so how you will understand that how you will write how you will define the direction so let's understand that we are talking about the second case or the case where i want to lift the body so that the p will if the p will increase with very small amount the body will lift that means if the equilibrium will break the body will go in the upward direction and the wedge will go in the leftward direction so as now we have understood that what would be the motion if the equilibrium will break based on the direction of the motion we can define the direction of the friction for example if we will talk about the larger body if the equilibrium will break and the body will start lifting the body will go in the upward direction that means the friction because of this wall on the body will be in the downward direction and definitely there will be a normal reaction at the same time i am not talking about this surface now first let me complete this part as i know that the, if the wedge will go towards the left direction the friction from the ground will act in this direction and here also there will be a normal reaction now very importantly what would be the direction of friction between these two surfaces so we can understand that as the lift the wedge is going inside that means this surface will also experience a resistance because of the body and there will be a direction of friction which will try to oppose the motion of the uh, wedge so the direction of friction will be in this way and as i will once know this direction the equal and opposite direction will come here so if you are able to resolve any of the surface the other surface direction directly will come and that will be opposite to the direction what we have defined or understand so now this is the direction of the friction for this surface and this would be the direction of normal reaction on this surface as well as there will be a weight of the larger body if we are considering the weight of the wedge it will also come here but in most of the cases the weight of the wedge is negligible as compared to the weight of the larger body and we generally ignore the weight of the wedge so here also i am not considering the wedge uh, weight of the wedge and this would be my direction based on the understanding of the motion of the body one of the trick here you can define that more in all the cases if you are able to define the one direction of the wedge the other direction of the wedge will also be in the same direction that means that if this is your wedge the forces will be either both the forces will be in this direction or both the forces will be in the opposite direction this is a trick basically if you are able to uh, understand the force at the ground the other force will also be a supportive force whatever force we have defined at the ground you will not find any condition particularly in this types of example that one force will act in this direction and other force will act in this direction if you have done something wrong and you are getting these two direction please go back and check your direction because this is not a general case generally the forces on the wedge will be in the same direction so now in the case of lift first i have understood the direction of the motion and based on the direction of motion i have defined the forces on all the surfaces once i will define the forces here i am showing the second again the same diagram where these are the two body body of mass m and the wedge and these are the different forces acting on the body and now as i have two different bodies i i can write the equation for the force balance and uh, these are the equation for the force balance here you can see that these two equations are uh, ret uh, written for this larger value here you can see when i will balance the horizontal forces this would be n1 and the horizontal component of this n2 suppose this is angle alpha so the wedge angle is defined by alpha so now this will be n2 sin alpha and horizontal component of f2 will be f2 cos alpha when i will write the vertical force 
the F1 force is acting in the downward direction so I am putting a negative sign as well as the mg is also acting in the downward direction so it would be negative but I am writing it on the right hand side so it will be positive. Now the F2 is acting in this direction so it, if I will define two component of F2 one will be in this direction another one it will be in the downward direction so that will also be a negative sign with the F2 sin alpha and the vertical component of N2 will be n2 cos alpha so this is my equation 1 and 2 for the larger body similarly i can write the two equation for the wedge wedge body here also we are having number of forces n3 f3 f2 n2 and the force p so here is the equation that n2 sin alpha f2 cos alpha and f3 all are acting in the right rightward direction horizontal component of this force horizontal component of this force as well as horizontal component actually this is the horizontal force so these three forces will be acting in the rightward direction and the p is acting in the opposite direction so it is with the negative sign similarly when i will write the vertical force balance i am getting this equation and i suggest all the student that practice this problem because if you will start writing equation when you are solving a problem in the exam it will take lots of time a lot of time and you will lose some marks so please either you remember these equations or practice these equations so can you can write this equation very quickly here the f force is nothing but the force is defined because of the friction suppose this f2 will be nothing but the coefficient of friction at this surface and the normal reaction so it will be mu2 n2 so similarly f1 will be mu1 m1 and f3 will be mu3 n3 in some cases all the surface have same same friction coefficient so all the mu1 mu2 and mu3 will be defined by mu otherwise if the friction is not same between the surfaces we have to write that mu1 n1 mu2 n2 and mu3 n3 so these are the equations we derived from the wages if we are talking about a case where we want to lift the body if i will talk the other case where i want to hold the body in this position in this case again i will start with the same philosophy that if the, my equilibrium fails in case of equil when the equilibrium fails what would be the direction of motion suppose i want to hold mass m that means if i am not able to hold the mass m the mass m will fall and the wedge will move in rightward direction in that case the motion of the larger mass will be downward and the wedge will be rightward based on this i can define the direction of friction on all the surfaces here i can write that if the body is coming down this would be the direction of friction here and this will be the normal reaction suppose this is f1 and n1 this is the mass of the body which is again acting in the downward direction similarly if i will define the forces on the bottom surface of the wedge all other surface can be defined that means if the wedge is going in the rightward direction this would be the direction of friction and this would be the direction of normal reaction suppose this is n3 and f3 as i said earlier that if you are able to identify one force on the wedge other force will also be in the same direction this would be the normal reaction so this is my f2 and n2 and as i have calculated this force or i have identified the direction this surface will just have the counter force so it will be the direction of f2 and this would be the direction of normal reaction so now i have defined all the forces and based on these forces i can again write the equation and you can see here that this is also the horizontal and vertical force balance for this body and this is horizontal and vertical force for this body so now uh, please understand that there are the, there are two conditions one condition is to hold m or an, another condition is to lift m and we should be very careful when we solve a problem that because this holding and lifting condition basically defined your direction of friction here i am showing both the cases simultaneously these are my two cases one case is to hold the body that means if i will not be able to hold the body it will fall and this will go away so i can see here that these are the direction of motion and based on the direction of motion i am defining the direction of friction you can see the other case here i want to lift the body so if the equilibrium will break this body will go in the upward direction and based on the motion of the wedge and the body i can write the direction at all the surfaces so you can see here if you will compare these two body here the friction is acting in the upward direction here friction is acting in the downward direction if you will see here friction is acting towards left here friction is acting towards right so if you will see the equations the difference only in the sign when we are having the frictional force otherwise all the sign will be same you can see n1 n1 minus n2 minus n2 plus plus f2 here minus f2 similarly f1 minus f1 f2 minus f2 so please understand that 
I agree that sometimes it is not possible to remember these equations but if you will practice again and again in the examination you will be able to write the uh, correct direction of forces as well as the equation and not only for the exam you should also understand that how a system operates and what would be the direction of different forces on the wages so now quickly solve one example that I am starting with a problem so that you can understand the numerical value here I am having a problem that there is a wage of, or there is a body of uh, uh, 100 kilogram and I am applying a force P and the body is in equilibrium and my angle alpha is defined by 15 degree and the coefficient of friction at all the surface are 0 0.2 and now what would be the value of P so that the system will remain in this position so now let's understand that I am talking about the holding case holding case that means that the body if the equilibrium will fail what will happen if you will recall my previous case you can see that in the case of holding if the equilibrium will not be uh, in position the body will fall down and the, the wage will move in the right direction so here also the wage will try to slide in this direction and the body will go in the downward direction so based on these two I can define the different forces as the body is coming down this would be the frictional force and this would be the normal reaction similarly if I am talking about the wage as the wage is going in this direction this would be the direction of friction at this surface and as I told you that if you are able to define one direction other direction will also be supportive so this would be the second force direction that this is F2 and this is F3 and as I have understood this direction I will be able to write this direction so now these are my equation uh, these are my free body diagrams and I can write the equation for the equilibrium suppose this is my equation for horizontal force balance when I will put all the value where alpha is 15 degree and I am not uh, I have to identify the n1 and n2 value so when I will solve this equation I am getting a relation between n1 and n2 which is n1 will be 0 0.0656 n2 when I will balance the vertical forces here I am getting a value of n2 which is coming out 970.1 Newton now after solving the larger body I am I am able to write get the value of n2 as well as the n1 now when I will move to the second body I need this n2 value when I have made this n2 value available to me the two unknowns are basically the P2 and the N3. F3 is not unknown basically. F3 is a function of N3. So all the forces which are unknown here are basically the P force as well as the N3 force because N2 I have calculated from the previous free body diagram. So now when I will write the equation for the horizontal force balance as well as the vertical force balance and I am putting the N2 value here. I am getting a value of N3 which is coming out 1012.3 and when I am putting this value in this equation I am getting a P value which is coming out minus 333.74 Newton. Now the question arises why this negative sign? The negative sign basically indicating that this is the case where no additional force is required. That means the friction is sufficient such that if the body is inserted and if I am not applying any force the wage will remain in this position because the friction is large on the other end if the weight of the body would have been around 500 Newton there may be a chance that the P will comes out positive in this numerical but here in this case if the body weight is 100 kilogram and I have ignored the weight of the wage here so you cannot find any small mg here which would have been there if we have considered the mass of the wage but in this case there is no mass so in this equation I am not considering any mass of the wage and I am getting a, a negative answer so please I am repeating again that negative answer doesn't mean that you have solved the problem wrong it says that the friction is so high that means no additional force is required okay thank you we will see more examples in our next video thank you